Herbo and Henry, uh, they probably got them hooked up in the other room. I'm not sure. We'll have the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. What's your pleasure of the minutes of June 18th? Any discussion? All in favor, say the five, say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Under 1.5, discussion on police department hiring procedure. Uh, Steve or Chief? Sorry, can you hear me better now? No, it's no better. So they're still both active candidates in our process. Thank you, Henry. They're both still both active candidates in our process, and I'm in contact with them, and I expect uh, to communicate with them in the future as we go through another process. Uh, the six candidates you're going to see today are the results of the, uh, at, after the assessment center, we identified nine candidates and we're sending you six uh, for interviews. Uh, three have been uh, excluded in the background phase. Jane. No. Okay, uh, I wanna thank you, uh, Captain Cobb, for the report. It, um, shows how much it takes to get, bring down, you know, the, the final candidates and things. And um, the, um, you, do you, you, you would have interviewed people from out of state if they had come through with all the necessary preliminaries, right? Um, yes. Okay. Thank you. Larry. Right. Um, Captain Cobb, there were a couple of candidates, uh, you know, you made some reference in your very fine uh, report that um, one through seven weren't invited, but it appeared that, it appeared that number one and number three weren't part of our interview process. Were they not available or had they been hired somewhere else? Um, I identified nine people that we did background investigations on and three people were excluded in the course of the background investigations. I see. So it's um, possible that the number one ranking could have been excluded as a result of, of yes. the background. Okay. Yes. Thank you. I must have missed that in the, uh, in the, uh, thank you. I have my report, but I, I don't know. I must have missed that. Okay. Sorry about that. Thank you. That's why we do backgrounds. Yeah. To find out. Thanks, everybody. 
Uh, did we get the background done on the last guy? The background is not concluded yet. Okay. Uh, I've asked for a copy of the draft as far as, as it is completed so far but I've been in contact with the investigator and uh, there's no exclusions and so far it looks to be a very routine background. Okay, but we won't, we won't have that today though. Uh, I can give you details of it prior to his interview. Okay. And how many do we need right now? To hire. Right, now, right now we have two open vacancies and I anticipate two in the very near future within weeks. So there's two immediately and then two very shortly. Yes. For and all practical purposes, I would say we have four vacancies. And there's only what, one on the list yet that we're waiting for? Uh, so we had one approved candidate who was uh, deployed overseas working on a conditional offer. We anticipated that she was going to return August 1st and we were going to begin her academy training August 24th. Uh, she wrote me yesterday and withdrew from candidacy at our department. Okay. Jane? I, I just want to say thanks to the investigators who did the backgrounds. Um, very thorough and um, interesting in terms of what, you know, and in, seem to be asking the same questions no matter who was the investigator. And, you know, I appreciate their thoroughness. Um, and it's a much better understanding of who we have facing us. I will certainly pass that. Yeah, on. thank you. So with, with the candidates we're going to be interviewing today, I believe there's what, there's two that are certified there's three certified, well, two that are certified by the state of Wisconsin. Right. One, one is a working police officer in another state, uh, and he is, he is signed up to take the reciprocity exam, has not taken it yet. Um, but I, I, there's, a, there's a requirement that he take and pass the reciprocity exam within one year of employment. So I, I view that as some, a little bit of a challenge, but uh, it's, I think we can work through that fairly easily. Yeah. And then three require academy training. So we have two openings currently. Is the intent that after we create the pool today, you will select two candidates to make job offers to? Yes. Okay. I, yes. I would like to do more than we Okay. Especially considering if somebody needs to go to the academy, then they're not going to be the job opening for them to fill until August. We can't do it. Okay. Yeah. I guess we, we are often asked by the candidates what will, you know, what will be the process afterwards. So it's nice for us to be able to tell them, okay, the, the intent is you know, four job offers will go out or whatever it is, we just want it. You know, that's why I'm asking. Yeah, sure. So, so to repeat, we currently have two vacancies right now. We will have two more vacancies. We have a known retirement on August 1st, and we have um, another employee that, that will most likely um, be off the payroll, my guess is um, on July 17th. Um, so that will be two additional vacancies and uh, so we're going to need to identify four people to start with that we can provide offers to. For those that are certified, not such a big deal. But for those who aren't certified, they need to go to the academy, and, and the academies start in August. And so if we're going to get them started, we need to identify them and give them job offers um, now pending those vacancies occurring. Right. Uh, so really four to start, and we have another um, officer that, that we believe based on uh, what the officer shared with us that there's a potential that um, really in the same time frame there's a potential for a fifth vacancy so we need to to plan that out too as best that we can okay thank you thank you chief any other discussion 
If not, we'll move on. Chief, yes, Larry. Chief, with with the uh, the fact that there's been some vacancies and those haven't been filled and those dollars thus haven't been spent, is it possible then for should we if we feel there are five good candidates here that we would pass on to you recommendations for five to be hired and could you make offers knowing that you have those savings or do you have to wait for this fifth individual to actually? Uh, so, so my belief is that we'll be able to make offers based on, on the vacancies occurring, essentially. We can make that as part of the offer that as long as this happens. Okay. And like I said, two of them are the Definitely. two are known. They're going to happen. Mm -hmm. There's, so I don't see anything that really prevents us from giving them offers at this point. Okay. Thank you. All right, so Chief, I guess what, what you're saying is you're going to give, there's going to be two offers today and then two more, or can you offer four today? Most, most likely, we, we would give at least three offers today, as likely, and most likely within, within a week. Is the mic on? Can you hear me? For, for sure, my belief is we would be given three offers. Um, and within the next couple of days, I will have paperwork. I'm sure that we can give the fourth offer. Thank you, Chief. Any more discussion? If not, I need a motion to go into closed session. I move that we go. I move that we go into closed session. We have a second. 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 Roll call. Aye. Larry. Aye. Jean. Aye. Aye. Bob. And Henry as well, he's not on, so an aye. So we are yeah, I'm, I'm on. Hi. Oh, okay, Henry. <laughs> we didn't know where you were. We don't have a picture of you. I think you're hooked up in the well, other room. We'll get you pretty soon. That's unfortunate. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> We have to rely on our memory. <laughs> All right, we are in closed session. To create a hiring pool for the Sheboygan Police Department of the following people, Taylor Johnson, Ellis Kirkenwich, Charles Allen, Isaiah Trussell, and Isaiah Calhoun. Second. We have a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all favor signify by saying say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Motion carried. Like to make a motion to go uh, to adjourn? Second. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Motion carried. We are adjourned. <laughs>